All right, everybody, so back with another video, and as I promised, I am going to be ramping up the Robert Kennedy Jr. coverage. So I do have a video that he put out uh, just a little while ago. It's called The Swamp Creatures, which should be very interesting. If you, if you know anything about Donald Trump, he's talked about swamp creatures before. He didn't do anything about them. Let's see what Robert Kennedy Jr. has to say. I, I would say that the Democratic Party no longer has any authentic with the American middle class. The Democratic Party, I knew as a boy that represented cops and firefighters and working people is gone. And, um, and, and the Republican Party has all kinds of problems with their own President Trump, you know, who got a huge boost from the assassination play, uh, attempt. And I commend him for his courage and his leadership during that, that very, very challenging time. But he announced yesterday, according to the New York Post, that he is choosing between Jamie Dimon, who's the head of Morgan, and Larry Fink, who's the head of BlackRock, as his Treasury Secretary. And this is, you know, I, I, I think people cannot take seriously his promise that he's going to train the swamp if he actually once again brings these swamp creatures in to run our government. BlackRock is, you know, is... America, American middle class is not fond of that, uh, BlackRock, and they see, you know, all of the machinations, the its role in the war in Ukraine, where it's got not only the contracts because it owns all the military contractors to blow up Ukraine, all of the bridges and ports and schools and hospitals, but it also has the contracts to rebuild Ukraine. And, you know, it owns the credit card companies that are bankrupting Americans that are charging 32%. It, 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 all of the, the economic problems that we have, which are the result of this systematic uh, strip mining of wealth from the American middle class and sending it upward to this new oligarchy of billionaires, it's all been orchestrated by BlackRock. And to bring them in to run the Treasury is not, I think it sends a bad signal. I think it's going to be a vulnerability for President Trump. I mean, he, I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, he's hes right on the money here. I mean, and this is the problem with Trump, right? I mean, he, he always talks about draining the swamp, draining the swamp. Well, what's the swamp? It's people like Jamie Dimon who worked for... Um, like, I can't remember which bank. Robert Kennedy Jr. said it, but he he's, again, he's a big banker. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock. They're buying up all these you know, residential communities. I think they already own 60, uh, 60 or so percent of them. And that's who Trump apparently wants to bring in. Swamp monsters are people who are you know, appointed, not necessarily even appointed by the government, but they, they essentially own the government because they have so much influence. Now, if Donald Trump wanted to drain the swamp, he certainly wouldn't then rehire swamp monsters, people who only have it in them for themselves. That's not what politicians are supposed to be. These, you know, these the deep state, all these, you know, unelected officials who are just putting money into politicians' pocket in return for bills being passed. I mean, that's what the swamp does. <laughs> Right. I mean, that, that's that's what the deep state does. And that's what Donald Trump is supposed to be uh, against and, and fighting for. But he didn't do it last time. And now there's all these rumors coming out and just because it's a rumor doesn't mean it's true. But I mean, that's very concerning. Where, you know, Robert Kennedy, on the other hand, in my opinion, would never hire someone like that. All right. So Jamie Dimon from J.P. Morgan. I mean, come on. J.P. Morgan. BlackRock, like what? What other CEOs of major companies? Oh, what what other experts are you going to hire? Remember when he hired and didn't fire Dr. Fauci? Like Donald Trump made a lot of mistakes, and it seems like he's just going to make them over, over and over again. Robert Kennedy, on the on, on the other hand, won't make those mistakes. Robert Kennedy knows deeply. Trust me, he deeply understands the amount of corruption in the United States government. Look what happened to his dad and uncle. Just start with there. Right, but then you have all these companies spraying shit all over our food, politicians breaking promises, hiring people who are in the swamp, people who only have self-interest, not the interest of the people, and they know they need to buy up politicians in order to fulfill those self-interests. That's why they do it. 
And then the politicians read off a script. We're in it for America. We're, we love our country. And it's like, well, you don't because you're allowing it to be destroyed by billionaire oligarchs, as Robert Kennedy Jr. said. I mean, a lot of people will talk about, you know, America is such a great democracy. America is not even a democracy. How can you call it? How can you call America a democracy when their elected officials are bought and paid for by the very rich elite people in the United States? There's a different word for that, actually. Because essentially we have unelected officials who are really in control. That's it's uh, I don't know if I can even say the word on YouTube. Who knows? But it, it starts with an F. If you can figure it out. And it ends with an ism. That's what we really have. We have socialism for the rich. We don't have a democracy. We don't have a republic. Our politicians, uh, their pockets have been lined since what? The, the 60s, 70s? For sure in the 80s, 90s, and up till now, obviously. And that's the thing, right? Like when you have these politicians come in and, yeah, you need to raise a bunch of money right now to get in the game. That's why Robert Kennedy is raising a lot of money. He's raised millions and millions of dollars. Kamala Harris is going to raise hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So is Trump. Why does it cost that much money to get a job that pays 500 grand a year? That's weird to me. And why are we not holding, why, like, why are the people not holding these, these oligarchs, these politicians accountable? Like, that's what I don't understand. People always complain about all oh, the Democrats, Republicans, they're all the same thing, but oh, I like the Democrats a little bit better, or oh, I like the Republicans a little bit better, but you know they both suck. You're both tired of the Uniparty. You have a chance, America. You have a chance, finally, to vote out the Uniparty. Take advantage of it. I'm not saying you have to agree with Robert Kennedy on everything. I'm not 100 I'm not 100 agreement in agreement with him either on everything. I don't personally agree with him on what he said with reparations, although he said he's not doing anything about it. Now he didn't really go into it too much. I just personally don't think that you know tax money should be going into like from the average person should be paid in reparations. I, I just don't think you should be doing that. If you want to, you know, find people who you know, who owned slaves in the past and they made money from it and their their family still has money and you want to tax them. But hey, listen, if they profited off of slavery, then I, I feel a bit differently about it. But just to tax the average person, to me, doesn't make sense. I don't really like what he says about Israel. I stand with Israel no matter what. Like, really? Because that could start a war. And if you're running as an anti-war candidate, that's the last thing you want. Now, again, maybe he's clarified that since I haven't heard anything about that, but you know, he needs to make it very clear that he's not going <laughs> to throw America into another war. Because that's the last thing we need right now. But f other than that, I mean, I agree with him on every other issue. He's a great environmental lawyer. He wants to expose the deep state, the corruption. He'll actually pull the plug on the swamp, not pull his cabinet from it like Donald Trump did. Like, I'm, I'm telling you guys, he, he's, the, he's the best option by far. It's not even close. Vote Kennedy Shanahan this November. It's very important. I don't know if if we can get enough momentum created for Robert Kennedy Jr. to win, but we got to try. Or else, well, it's just it's going to be Harris or Trump. You want four more years of Democrats or Republicans, four more years of increasing the national debt, four more years of wars, four more years of the oligarchy, four more years of the deep state. How many more years can we take with, with this? Like, like, when is America going to wake up and say, hey, listen, we need a change here and we need to do it now. And we finally have the guy, Joe Jorgensen and Jill Stein and you know, Gary Johnson, some of the other third party, more well-known names in the past have not been able to get past that two to four percent range. Robert Kennedy will be past that, I promise you, if you if you're thinking if you're thinking that I'm not going to vote for him because he can't win. Listen. Vote for him anyway. You're not throwing away your vote. You're not voting for someone who's getting under 5%. Robert Kennedy will, I promise you, he will get more than 5% of the vote. In fact, I think he's going to get well into the double digits, maybe even up to 20 to 25%. Especially if independents or people who usually don't vote, which remember is about half the country. <clears throat> it's about 150 million people who could have voted in the last election and they didn't. Those people are also not very likely to take polls. 
can Robert Kennedy out of that 150 million, can he get 10, 20, 30 million to, to show up on in November? I hope so. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to waste my time, you're not wasting your time. Robert Kennedy is the real deal. He is the real deal, 100%. Robert Kennedy Jr. for president. I'm going to continue to make these videos. I know sometimes they don't get a lot of views, but I still got to do my part because this is really all, all I can do for him. I wish I could do more, but <clears throat> as of right now, I have a small platform and I'm trying to grow it, but this is all I can do, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me know what you think in the comment section about the video that you saw. Let me know what you think about uh, Robert Kennedy in general. I always love reading and I, I try to reply to your comments as quickly as possible. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.